Hello, Dino here, and welcome to another Limitless Hair Expert tutorial. Today, the subject is A Limitless Story with No Ending, Part 3. Now, where we left off on Part 2 on the previous video was about the invention of hair weaves and how that transferred over to somebody taking part of that technology and making it into a hair unit that was attached to stay on the head. And what was done then is that from hair weaving, they used to make cornrows, which is our braids tied down against your head, your own hair, making a braid against your head. And they took that principle from a hair weave and they used that with a hair system or a hair unit where they put the unit on top of the head and they made a cornrow around the perimeter and they sewed the edge of the hair unit to the cornrow. And thus, now it was another breakthrough because now they can take people that have hair loss or very thin hair on top and they can actually put some sort of hair system or hair unit on top on a semi-permanent basis, meaning where somebody can go to sleep and wake up with their hair, and dive in the water with their hair. And these are major breakthroughs because remember, before hair weaving and before hair systems were created, everyone was adding hair where they add hair, take it off at night, add hair, take it off. So these are major breakthroughs to be able to keep hair on as part of you, okay? Now, the problem that arose from that was that making a braid around the perimeter of where you're thin eventually then caused something called baldness or alopecia traxation. So it almost created a new method of losing hair, which again was called alopecia traxation, which means it was causing a track of baldness around the edge because they cornrowed the edge over and over and over in the same place which made you lose more hair there. So next, then they came out with medical bonds. So now they took the hair unit, the hair system, and they bonded it onto the scalp using a medical bond, which made the traxation, the alopecia traxation go away, but caused another problem. So it wasn't an improvement, but it did cause another problem. And the problem that it caused was that you had to shave off any existing hair to bond on a unit. And that's what still exists today, by the way. Or if they don't shave your hair, they bond on top of your hair and you lose your own hair. So there's a common denominator here. And that is all methods in the industry, back then when this was first invented, up to today, still have one thing in common. They all add hair and simultaneously cause you to lose hair, which is not a good trade-off, okay? So that's where that ended up, is now there were hair units, hair systems, although please be aware that each company that did these hair systems, they put their own name to it to make it seem to the public as if it was a unique method. But up to today, all methods of adding hair, they all cause you to lose more hair. So please be aware of that. So this story will continue on the next video called The Limitless Hair Story with No Ending, Part 4. And that story is going to then explain where that last technology was then picked up and improved into a brand new technology that is totally revolutionary, totally opposite from everything. So please stay tuned for the next video, part four. See you soon.